chylomicron uh, what enters the circulation it will enter end up in the heart and it will eventually end up in the liver however as it's transported through the blood vessels it will encounter lipoprotein lipase uh, which will digest or remove some of the uh, uh, triglycerides from this chylomicron and consequently the size of chylomicron will become smaller and then that smaller chylomicron will end up in the liver so as it moves through this process some of the fatty acids are removed from it so let's look at it in more details over here so this is your chylomicron it entered the lymphatic vessel and that lymphatic vessel will eventually uh, be collecting and draining into the thoracic duct which is the ma major uh, lymphatic vessel and that thoracic duct will enter the circulation right over here you see this is the subclavian vein and this subclavian vein will enter into the heart and then it will leave and it will go through the blood vessels as it goes through the blood vessels in the scapularies the protein uh, 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 lipoprotein lipase will basically remove some of triglycerides and those fatty acids and triglycerides that's removed or digested will diffuse through the capillaries and uh, it will enter into the interstitial fluid right over here and from interstitial fluid they will enter the cell so suppose over here you have a cell let me draw a cell uh, so basically the the lipoproteins uh, 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 digested this like protein lipase removed some of the f triglycerides from it digested it into free fatty acids and glycerol and then free fatty acid and glycerol will leave the capillary diffuse out of capillary enter into the interstitial fluid from interstitial fluid they will enter the cell so now the chylomicron remnant will arrive into the liver once it gets to the liver um, uh, more triglycerides will be added to this uh, chylomicron remnant and then this chylomicron remnant as it gets more triglycerides added by the liver to this one this will be called uh, low density lipoprotein uh, or VLDL and this VLDL will leave the liver and transport triglycerides to the cells around the body so here is the chylomicron uh, remnant to that chylomicron remnant the liver will take uh, and add some more fatty acid uh, triglycerides as more and more triglycerides are added to it we call this very low density lipoprotein and this very low density lipoprotein will again leave the liver and enter circulation and as it goes through the circulation through the blood vessel again lipoprotein uh, uh, lipase will take some of the uh, triglycerides from this VLDL and remove it and it will digest it to free fatty acids and glycerol the free fatty acids and glycerol will diffuse and enter the cells and inside the cell they will be so here is your inside the cell so the free fatty acids will diffuse into the cell oops take a line it will enter here once they're inside the cell they will be metabolized to generate energy or whatever other metabolic functions that the cell needs so as more and more triglycerides are removed from this VLDL what is going to happen the density of the lipoprotein will change so the more you remove the density will change the dense as the density changes so now we call it what intermediate density lipoprotein so this VLDL as more and more fatty acids are removed this will eventually become intermediate density lipoprotein this intermediate density lipoprotein will be delivered back to the liver by the circulation so it goes back to the liver uh, once the intermediate uh, density lipoprotein gets into the liver what does the liver do is liver will add cholesterol to it so I will add cholesterol to this lipoprotein so again when it adds cholesterol the addition of cholesterol to this lipoprotein again changes the density of this lipoprotein so now it becomes low density lipoprotein so from intermediate density lipoprotein 
as more and more cholesterol is added to it now it becomes what low density lipoprotein this low density lipoprotein is again leaving the liver and it's released into the circulation so the function of this LDL is mainly to transport cholesterol to the cells and it will deliver this cholesterol to the cells uh, so as this LDL travels through the blood vessels uh, what is going to happen some cholesterol uh, will diffuse or leave through the will be transported out of the capillary through the capillary wall and it will end up in the interstitial fluid which is this region so if this one is considered inside the capillary and this is the wall it will cross the wall and it will enter into the interstitial fluid from the interstitial fluid it will enter into the cell so this square that you see over here right over here that represents a cell now <clears throat> once it enters the cell inside the cell uh, uh, this cholesterol will be used by the cell to produce membrane components remember cell membrane one of the components of cell membrane is cholesterol so cholesterol makes up the cell membrane it will be used by the cell to produce hormones it will be used by the cell to produce other materials now whatever cholesterol from this LDL is needed by the cell it will be used any cholesterol that's excess that's not needed that will be released back into the circulation so here is your blood vessel again so the excess cholesterol from the cell is released back into the interstitial fluid and then from the interstitial fluid to the blood vessel. What you have initially over here, if this is your blood vessel, from the blood vessel it crosses to the interstitial fluid and then it goes to the cell. Uh, cell uses whatever cholesterol, any excess, released back into the interstitial fluid, goes back to the blood vessel. So what happens to this excess cholesterol? that has been released back into the capillaries the blood vessels uh, high density lipoproteins will collect this excess cholesterol and deliver it back to the liver uh, when this excess cholesterol is delivered back to the liver the liver will reuse some of this cholesterol to make again LDL so that LDL could transport it again back to where back to the cells and the cell could use it again make components and then release the excess back into the capillary and then the capillary from the capillary HDL will pick it up and deliver it back to the liver uh, one other thing that could the liver do any excess cholesterol that hasn't been used the liver will excrete that cholesterol with a bile salt <coughs> so let's uh, summarize everything so to look at it uh, LDL that's why LDL is considered as bad cholesterol because this is delivering the cholesterol uh, to the capillaries or to the cell and HDL is considered as good cholesterol because it collects the excess cholesterol from the capillaries and delivers it back to the liver uh, let's summarize the whole process so what do you have as you have intestine from the intestine fat crosses to the lymphatic vessel and then in the lymphatic vessel this fat is ending up in the blood vessel blood vessel delivers that fat uh, into the liver so basically fat is delivered from the intestine to the liver uh, by a lipoprotein complex called chylomicron once it gets to the liver uh, the liver will take add some more fatty acid triglycerides to it and as it adds more triglycerides to the chylomicron the density of this lipoprotein changes and now we call it what VLDL this VLDL is transporting triglyceride from the liver to the cells and as uh, it goes through the blood vessels it loses triglycerides as this VLDL uh, loses more and more triglyceride to the cell its density again changes and now it becomes what intermediate density lipoprotein and this intermediate density lipoprotein goes back to the liver the liver will add 
cholesterol this time to it. So as it adds more and more cholesterol to this intermediate density lipoprotein, the density of this lipoprotein changes. And that uh, uh, density change now becomes what? Low density lipoprotein. And that low density lipoprotein is released into the circulation. So the function of LDL is to de deliver cholesterol to the cell. When it's released into the blood vessel, uh, uh, it will deliver cholesterol to the cells. It will the cholesterol will enter within the cell. It will be used by the cell to use some of its components. Any excess cholesterol will be released back into the blood vessel. As the cholesterol is released back into the blood vessel, another lipoprotein that's called HDL or high density lipoprotein will collect this cholesterol and I will deliver it back to the liver. That's the end of it.